purple trees? Whoa! Can you guess where we are? That's right. We're in Pretoria, South Africa, a place known for its blue and purple jacaranda trees. If Pretoria is this gorgeous, I know the rest of South Africa has to be amazing. Let's check it out. South Africa is located on the southernmost tip of the continent of Africa. And it's three times the size of Texas and five times the size of Japan. It's also home to all different types of people from all different parts of the world. And that's what makes it beautiful. With those purple blue jacaranda trees, Pretoria is just one of the many beautiful locations in South Africa. Cape Town, South Africa is one of the world's most breathtaking cities. Nature surrounds this multicultural city, which nuzzles between a rugged range of mountains and the sea. From Cape Town, we head to the Kalakadi Transfrontier Park. It is one of the largest wilderness areas in the world. Johannesburg is next, also known as Joburg. It is the largest city in South Africa by population. It's also named the City of Gold for its rich deposits of the precious metal, and it's the vibrant heart of the country. And we're not done yet. We still have to check out Kruger National Park, the Drakensberg, meaning the Dragon Mountains, and Durban, South Africa. Now you know when traveling on Taste Buds Air, we have to check out the food. Braai is super popular in South Africa, and it means barbecue or grill. Another popular food item is amagwinya, also known as vetkuks or fat cakes. They can be filled with delicious meats and they are yummy. Boboti is another much loved South African national dish and it's a dish that is rich in flavor. And we can't leave without dipping our fork in some good old bunny chow and ending with some sweet malava pudding. Because South Africa is diverse in both its landscape and its population, people dress all kinds of different ways. Here are some examples of traditional clothing from di different cultures. Traditional Hausa clothing almost always features beautifully designed beadwork and colorful printed fabrics. Zulu men traditionally wear animal skins and feathers. Because the Zulu revere leopards as the king of all predators, only royalty are allowed to wear leopard skin. The Indibele tribe are renowned for their intricate beadwork and brightly colored homes painted in striking geometric designs. The main element of Indibele women's wear is an apron. Songa women wear beads and colorful gathered skirts which shake when they dance. In Vinda culture, Vinda girls traditionally wear a shido and Vinda boys wear a loincloth known as a sindi. Indian South Africans traditionally wear embroidered saris and shirwanis for special occasions. And Cape Malay women are often seen wearing beautiful hijabs. Many kids in South Africa play the same sports and do the same activities that you probably do. However, there are some traditional games that you may not have heard of before. One of them is a game of strategy called Moravorava, and the other is a game full of running called Coco.
wow, there's so many things to see here, so many yummy foods to taste, and lots of different people to meet from all different cultures. South Africa is amazing. But before we leave, we have to find out something about the languages spoken here. Did you know that there are 11 official languages spoken in South Africa, and most of the population is fluent in at least two of them? One of the most common and popular languages spoken in South Africa is Isi Zulu. In order to say hello and greet someone in Isi Zulu, you say Sawubona. And to say goodbye, just one of the ways to say goodbye, you say Hambakale or Salakhe. So Hambakhe, buddies.